Hello and welcome YouTubers and Doctor Who fanatics to my review of The Magic Mousetrap by Matthew Sweet, which stars Sylvester McCoy as the seventh Doctor, Sophie Aldred as Ace and Philip Olivia as Hex for this full cast audio drama, which was requested by fellow YouTube user Dante Minutillo. So if you want to go straight to the review drama and see how this audio is presented, then there is the time. If you have a hand skipped, let's begin the video. So for the cover art by Alex Mallison, which I love, is one of my favourite covers. With the Seventh Doctor there, Hex and Ace blended in the red background. With all the walls deformed and changing shape, really weird but still lovely. With the wooden doll by there, and the main enemy of the story. I do have a feeling when I go through the content of this story, it will give away the villain. That's how predictable this villain is in this story. Just when I just speak about his content, uh, a villain would have snapped you straight away. I know who it is. So... Yeah, it's going to be really difficult to review, but I have to go over the content. Some people can guess who the villain is right now by the name of the story and looking at the cover. But if you don't know who the villain is and you don't want to know, you just have to take that risk. You leave the video if you wish, but if you already know who it is and have your guesses, then you are definitely right. So for the side of the CD, we have the 7th Doctor picture by there. Doctor Who, the magic mouse trap in red, looks lovely on the shelf. 120. So for the back of the CD, is directed by Ken Bedley. A blurb on the story which I'll place in the description, the cast featured in the story, and it is 120 minutes approx. So when we open up, we are presented with the booklet and the disc. Both discs are just like this, and I'm not going to take it out because it's really loose and it's quite of a struggle to put back in properly. But yeah, on the back it will feature advertisements for other monthly range stories, and on the second disc it will feature a companion chronicle release, which is the Free Companions Part 1, which is Polly's story, which I won't review in depth. But it's quite a good story and I'll rate it 6 out of 10. And we have the booklet, there's no variation so you can't choose the 7th Doctor variation on this because they didn't do this at the time. But yeah, you're just stuck with the blue Doctor Who logo. So when we open up, we have the writer's notes by Matthew Sweet, behind the scenes, how's that Companion Chronicles all about, Polly's story. Director's notes. Next page, you'll feature good old concept art which I miss so it's always nice to have a look at them. With all the characters in these circles. And we can see the villain there with nice electricity all around. And the next page will feature the next instalment, which I haven't listened to, but I'm really wanting to. Enemy of the Daleks, which I do have. Credit and who's who with the main cast. So then, what are my thoughts and opinions on The Magic Mousetrap by Matthew Sweet? Now, hearing about that writer, he hasn't done a lot for Big Finish. He's only done, well, I've only got two of his stories, which is this one and Year of the Pig. And I, he still done another one, but it's gone out of my head. Oh, Voyage to the New World, that's it. So yeah, he hasn't really done a lot, but from the stories I've got so far, Year of the Pig and The Magic Mousetrap, I can say straight away that he's a very good writer. Extremely creative and brilliant with his twists. It's these kind of twists that fool you, and you're thinking, whoa, what, what on earth is going on? And as it goes on, you go, oh, was that really it? Wow, that's brilliant. Yeah, he's very creative with his twists, which fools the listener, but then you have the full understanding of it near the end, if you listen to it with enjoyment. So you can tell Magic Mousetrap is going to be a positive review, and yep, you're absolutely right. But I will say this story won't be for everyone. Some people like the action stories, the epic scale of them, but this one isn't anything with epic scale. Matthew Sweet doesn't really go for that. You know, when I look at his stories, they don't have like an epic scale to them, but something more light-hearted. Yeah, so don't expect guns going off and violence and shouting with these audios. More on the karma side, but still, fantastic storytelling. This one starts off with supporting characters just playing simple games, that's it really. With Ludovic, Harry and Herbert playing simple board games, snakes and ladders, consequences, and fun games like that. But as the dialogue goes on, it doesn't really seem like they're wanting to do this as one of them says phew at least i'm not gonna die now and as it goes on it feels like a little bit sick twisted of if they refuse to play these games they get a, an electric shock of over 300 to 400 volts which is very over the top just to refuse to play a simple board game but don't expect the games to be so simple they get more creative as they go on and you could probably you could probably know right now what villain is featured in the story because that's pretty much what the content is in this story. But the villain in this story isn't a very well-known big villain, as he's more of an underdog villain, I would say. So not everyone will know who this villain is, because might not even experience them. So very good for newcomers. So when the Doctor gets into the, the stories with a character called Queenie, 
and they're on this simple cart ride, seem like they're going to be enjoying themselves, and after a while the Doctor and Queenie feel very uncomfortable for some reason when they get onto this cart ride. They just realise there's no one else on it, and when they get off of it, the whole atmosphere has changed when they were in Switzerland at the time. Just the area around them just feels different, and they, it feels very weird. They go to this nearby house in Switzerland to meet those characters who are playing the simple board games. Someone recognises the Doctor, and the villain of the story wanted to keep his identity hidden because this character was sort of remembering what was going on and why he was sent here. So what happened to him? He was sent to something called an ECT machine, where he was electrocuted by 400 volts completely frying his brain just to protect the identity of the villain. As it goes on, part one, just like a weird atmosphere going on, so many questions need to be answered, sort of, uh, part one, and that's always good, bring mystery to it. And why everyone here is acting so weird. And then part two, it's more when these creative games sort of happens, and the Doctor is on this ginormous, like, snakes and ladders thing, and when it says miss a turn, it's, like, much more serious than that, and it says an avalanche is coming, and what do you think happens? An actual avalanche happens in Switzerland. Now with the second half of the story, this is where Matthew Sweet's creativity comes in. A lot more. Really fools the listener. And also at the stage, this is where the villain gets noticed. And I don't really, of course I don't want to cover him because some people might not know who it is. But let's say he isn't really himself, he's shown in a different way. Because that will potentially might ruin the resolution to this story, so I won't cover it. The villain isn't used to his full potential. That's just a, a slight naff, in my opinion. So the main structure of it works absolutely perfectly. Supporting characters are great. The casting is perfection. There's no one I can replace. Funny and quirky characters. Let's go for the cast and the characters featured in the story. Of course, the main cast do an absolutely brilliant performance, with Hex and Ace playing a very good role in this story. Also very unpredictable. The Seventh Doctor himself, absolutely fantastic of course. That's the usual stuff I do say about the main cast, but the supporting cast is more to say about. As I said, they're all quirky and really fun and enjoyable, such as Queenie, who I would say is the companion to the Doctor in this story, mostly staying by the Doctor's side. And I would say she's the only one, not really the weird one, other than the other ones acting quite weird. But yeah, I would say the companion to the Doctor in this story. Some people might find them irritating, but it depends if you just like these style of stories. Yeah, the other ones, like Harry and Herbert, more, all act more the same, just acting quite weird. But the standout ones, I would say, would be Ludovic, who has some great interactions with the Seventh Doctor. Seems like he knows everything which is going on, but in general, he doesn't know what's really going on. So yeah, character's fine. It just depends if you like quirky characters and a light-hearted story, it's just really up to you. But if you find quirky and funky characters rather irritating, potentially give it a miss. Now, positives and negatives. As I said, part one and part two is brilliant mystery and build-up, and you just want to carry on straight away. With some creative games by the villain, which is the main strong positives of this story, it's just Matthew Sweet's creative writing is on top. Because if you haven't experienced a Matthew Sweet story, definitely I would say start with this one. Because you, the pick, is more of a stretch, as each part is one hour long. But I would say this one is definitely a start if you're interested in a Matthew Sweet story. There are very strong positives with this story. However, my only naff with it is I wish the villain was used a little bit more. That's it. And another thing I forgot to mention. I would say listen to this story more than once, because your rating will change. On my first listen, I was just a little bit confused at one part of the story. I was thinking maybe I did miss something, so I gave it an 8 out of 10 overall. But when I give it a second listen, I got it. And I understand it a lot more, so I got the whole thing. And it really did boost up a lot when I gave it a second chance. And of course, some audios need that, you have to give it a second chance to fully get everything. This is a little bit unfair if you listen to it once and the little bits you don't get and then review it and say it's a bad story. It's not really fair that is. Always give someone a second chance if you're unsure about something. But yeah, I'm very glad I gave it a second chance because the rating went up even more. 
and I would say it is one of my favourite self Doctor stories. A lot of people do say that. It's a Matthew Sweet's creativity, the brilliant characters, how they're used in the story and their interactions with each other. So the Magic Mousetrap gets a very, very strong 9 out of 10 on the dot. Absolutely brilliant story and I highly recommend you pick it up. Find it for a cheap price on Amazon or eBay or even the Big Finish website depending on wherever you want to go. Definitely worth it. Hopefully Big Finish will do 101 to 150 sale and if they do definitely pick up the Magic Mousetrap. Also this is a good start with the black and white TARDIS arc as the other Seventh Doctor stories after that you can't really listen to. So, of course, I'll see you in the next one. Have a good one.